caution coming out, but they choke on that last pit stop. Let's have a look at the Winston Cup points. Sterling Marlin now 87 points ahead of Matt Kenseth. Kenseth eating into Marlin's lead substantially. Mark Martin third. Jeff Gordon, rookie Jimmy Johnson, the top five in the Winston Cup standings. Mark Martin celebrates with that million dollar bonus, the champagne, and more. I wonder if they're serving champagne down at the Hollywood Hotel. Oh, caviar to go with it. You I'd can say count on chances that. chances are. Uh, not yet. Just something yeah. to kind of get us going on the uh, rest of this uh, holiday weekend. Right. Mark Martin using NASCAR's longest race to end his uh, two-year victory drought. And uh, big payoff. The cash is flowing. It really is. Woo! Yeah, here it is Winston here, too. Winston million dollar. Uh, oh, you're, All right. Somebody, somebody dropped your I, wallet. I, I'll, I'll All right. And uh, Janet Hogan from Sterling, Virginia, the fan who cashes in on the million. Okay. Look, only the uh, second time that a driver over the age of 41 has won this year with uh, Mark Martin. Sterling Marlin, of course, has won twice. Mm -hmm. So the senior crowd, the veteran crowd, coming through in this featured race. It really is. I and mean, we talked about it early on that you need to have that experience and know how much to hold back and when it's time to run and when it's time not to hold a little bit. And I think that Mark Martin was ready to go when it came time. He took advantage of somebody else's miscue and he capped it off. And we heard from Jimmy Johnson, pole sitter, in mm -hmm. uh, trouble getting in and out of the pits on a consistent basis. Some of the experience that you talked about all night. I really think so, because when you go down on pit road, there are certain shadows, and every now and then you can misjudge your distance. And let's face it, this was really one of his first times he had to really deal with that during the course of the night. So he may have made a little bit of a mistake, and it cost him right there at the end when it really mattered. A beautiful night on a holiday weekend and another full weekend of racing across the Fox Networks beginning Friday on FX with NASCAR Winston Cup qualifying live from Dover. Jeff Gordon, who has yet to win this year, won last year at Dover. Saturday on FX, NASCAR Winston Cup final practice followed by the MBNA Platinum 200. And on Sunday, you can start your race day with NASCAR of the Morning, presented by Smirnoff Vice. That's on Fox Sports Net, followed by the MBNA Platinum 400 on FX. And get the full wrap-up of all the activity on NASCAR Victory Lane, all access on Fox Sports Net. And also, don't forget Speed Channel, the home of NASCAR TV. It's there for you all the time. Nothing gets you closer to NASCAR. UPS, the official delivery company of NASCAR delivering a chance to win four tickets to the moon. No, just kidding. Want to make sure you were paying attention. To the 2003 <laughs> Daytona 500 on Fox, all you have to do is log on to foxsports.com, keyword UPS Racing. An extended weekend and an extended race. 600 miles. Ricky Rudd setting the consecutive starts record. 656th time he opened. In the twilight of his career, he finished fourth. Led the race as the sun faded. Mark Martin winning his first race. A victory for Roush racing his first uh, victory in two years. And uh, we want to thank all of our crew that worked so hard to bring you racing. Coordinating director of NASCAR on Fox, Artie Kempner. Producer Neil Goldberg. Pit producers Pam Miller and David Black. Technical producers Steve Stum and Marvin Kale. Opening sequence produced by Gary Lang. And the associate directors, Greg Scopatone. We call him Scope. Barry Landis and Derek Manning. We call him D-Rock. The associate producers, Bill Richards. Broadcast associates, Charles McDonald and Judy Wong. Coordinating producer of NASCAR on Fox, Richie Zions. We call him Z. Senior producer, Bill Brown. Executive producers of Fox Sports are Ed Gorin and David Hill. From the gang all here, enjoy the rest of your holiday weekend. Thanks for watching NASCAR on Fox.